Hey everybody. Hey. Well, one of the reasons that we decided the trailer was bad weather and traffic, and we've endured both of them today. Oh. A lot of it. We've had what four different major slowdowns? Major slowdowns. In the rain. A good 15, 20 minutes with some hail. Oh uh, yeah. I'm glad we were in the Jeep, not Hard on hail, the bike. Right. <laughs> and uh yeah, it's uh we're outside of Memphis now, we're about 135 miles from Nashville, and traffic on the westbound side is basically stopped for miles. There's a semi off the side of the road flipped over. But we've been stuck, like I said, off and on all afternoon, you know, so. So I guess today it did work out well that we had the motorcycle on the trailer. <laughs> and, uh. See, it's back there. It's back there. It's getting wet, but it uh, didn't get any damage from the hail and it's staying tied down, so that's good, so. We only had to tighten it once. It says we're going to get into Franklin, Tennessee at our hotel around 6 o'clock, which is awesome. We'll be able to unpack. Ice the knee. Ice my knee a little bit. It's starting to hurt. And then uh, go get some dinner. And it's all that starting and stopping. Get it, yeah, exactly. Get, uh, and we'll get a good start early in the morning. Kick his butt in cribbage. Yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have a record of that so far. So we got, I think we've got the packing up the Jeep. Sorry if there's some noise, guys. It's uh, we're in a Jeep, so it's not the quietest of vehicles. Uh, but we did do it. I think we did a pretty good job. We got 90% of our stuff in one, two, three, five totes, five big yellow totes. And you can still see out the back window. So we have room for more. We do have room for more. <laughs> Gears in one big tote. So that's yep. everything with helmets, jackets, or not helmets, but jackets, pants, boots, everything else that we need to, to ride while we're over here. Yeah, the helmets are down here in between. And then we've got uh, the other big tote has a uh, all of our uh, camping stuff in it, so... Like our stove and big all of the big necessaries. Yeah, big queen-size blow-up mattress. Another uh, thumbs up. That'll be nice to sleep on. I'll get the gazelle strapped to the motorcycle trailer, so... It's a big tent, folks. It's not like you can be throwing it on your motorcycle or anything. Speaking of motorcycles, yeah. we're about to go sit in traffic for a while. I hope it's not bouncing like that. That'd be kind of annoying. I think it probably is. Then the other totes have all of our clothes. We use compression sacks for all our clothes. So we've got a week's worth of clothes and one, one smaller tote. For riding and for jeeping. And then we've got, uh, what's the other? Oh, and then dry goods, food, yeah, sacks food and stuff. And things yeah. like that. So we just thought we'd check in with you, say hey. My finger's in the way. <laughs> I was playing pink food. Hopefully we can get in there at a pretty good time. Jamie hasn't had to drive yet, and she hasn't taken a nap. That's a feat for me. That is a feat for you. So. <laughs> Although sitting in that traffic back there, I, I I found my eyes closed a few times. Started thinking about it. Uh -huh. and, uh, looks like we're about to head into some blue skies, so that'll be nice. Sunny skies. We're getting sunny skies. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll let you go. Talk See to you later. Soon. Bye. Bye. Hey everybody, I'm having to do a quick little voiceover. We didn't film anything the rest of the evening or actually the next day while we were driving to uh, Iron Horse, but we did get there safe and sound. Uh, no more weather, everything worked out very well. So it was a good trip. We were really glad we chose to trailer as we did have some weather and some construction that we had to deal with. But uh, all in all, it was a good trip. It also allowed for my knee to get healed up a little bit as you all know I was struggling a little bit with that so uh, it really did help the next uh, day we just rolled into Iron Horse unpacked our uh, tent Jamie got all comfortable in her hammock and we just kind of relaxed and had dinner and chilled out around the campsite what a beautiful place uh, we are going to do a video on the Iron Horse as well but it was a beautiful place to stay and we really enjoyed our time uh, you're going to pick up this video again uh, the next morning as we were getting ready to go do some riding and uh, hang out and actually enjoy some of the roads around here. So, again, sorry for the voiceover, but um, I hope these pictures kind of give you an idea of what we were going through. So now stay tuned and let's ride on to the next day. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Bye.
morning everybody what a beautiful day here in North Carolina you see why it's got the name Smoky Mountains a little humid out here this morning but it was beautiful sleeping last night we're staying at the Iron Horse Lodge and it is fabulous great motorcycle parking just a really cool place dinner on on site very cool place good morning by the way I'm gonna take a little walk around camp. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. everyone hope everybody's doing well happy Sunday we are somewhere in Georgia heading over to Suches to get some lunch we're gonna do one of my favorite roads here in a minute called Wolfpin Gap you there yeah okay we're, we're gonna, gonna head, head down, down Wolfpin Gap, Gap and then we'll be at Suches okay I can't, I can't get, get the, the GoPro, GoPro to come on so I don't know what's going on there uh oh so good morning everybody Hope y'all are doing okay. It's a beautiful morning out. We're I'm on. back. Oh, welcome, welcome back. She cut me out. The GPS cuts Jamie out every time we uh, she comes on, so she's gonna come on here in a little bit too. But we're on Wolfpin Gap, heading over to such as Georgia to get some lunch, I think, or at least a snack. This is one of our favorite roads. It's beautiful. You're doing okay. We're on Waihei Road, North Carolina. It's a beautiful little stretch. Say hi to Jamie. We're hoping we can go find a gas station since we've been blinking for 25 miles. Hopefully we don't run out. 
say there's one right down the road here, but we'll have to see. He says it's 2.7 miles or so. Tight. Well, that's beautiful though, isn't it? So today we went down, uh, went to Two Wheels Only, ran over to Blood Mountain. Lots of bikes over there hanging out. A lot of fun. It's called Six Pack or Six Gap, something like that is the roads over there. It's a lot of fun. Hello, big Jeep. Stay over there. It's been a great road. This is a lot of fun. This road here is a lot of fun. Got to be careful because it's pretty narrow. And there can be a lot of traffic on it. But so far today it hasn't been too bad. We had some traffic earlier. I love how it runs right along the river there. Kind of reminds me like Colorado, some places in Colorado. All the guys out fly fishing. I think it'd be a little warm for that. It's 81 degrees. Seems warmer. Humidity's really high. It is beautiful out though. Look at that. Just beautiful. So we're heading back. It shouldn't be long before we get back to the campsite. We're going to kind of cook tonight. Jamie had some chili, so we're going to do some Frito chili pie. Just kind of hang out. Boy, it's beautiful. Look at that. Jamie's camera ran out of battery. She'd be taking more pictures. We took we took a few though. Oh, it's getting so much cooler. It's nice. Hope you're not getting too much wind noise. Got my visor up. Now I'm just hoping that there's a gas station up here on the side of the road, like it says there is. See, there's a lot of kayakers. I don't see any gas station though. Yeah, I really hope we don't run out of gas. This is going to be close, I'm afraid. It's a busy road, so hopefully somebody can give us some gas. Because if this food mart's not up there, we're in trouble. Bunch of people out rafting. Made it. Yeah, we were tight. Thought we were about to run out of gas. We were close. Well, we made it to the gas station, so that was good. Didn't run out of any fuel. Now we're just heading back to the campsite. I had to stop by and get some alcoholic beverages. We ran out yesterday. Lots of bikes out on the road. I gotta love it about this area. Looks like we could get a little rain, but nothing crazy. We're hoping to dodge the rain because it looks like this tropical storm is gonna hit and it may push some rain up here. So we may be, uh, we were gonna alternate days just riding, jeeping, riding, jeeping, but it looks like we may ride tomorrow and 
try to ride a couple days in a row. So if it does rain, then we'll be able to just do the Jeep, but we'll get some motorcycle riding in. Today was a great day. Beautiful. I'll put some more pictures up. Jamie took some really good pictures. I tell you, I was really close to running out of gas. I put 5.6 some gallons in, and that's the most I've ever put in the gas tank. 248 miles to the, on that tank, and the most I'd done before was 236. So we pushed it, but we made it. So she's a good old steed. Took care of us. Popo got somebody. Was that a little ninja that girl was on? Yeah. yeah. That's, That's a, a nice, nice bike. bike. That 400, mm -hmm. she had it with the team green paint scheme. You got to pay more for that. Lots of bikes out. Mm -hmm. I want to give a shout out to Ingle in Bryson City. Very nice people. Very clean store. She had to run in. We ran out of... Uh, some adult beverages last night. It was actually very nice sitting at the campsite. Our big old Yeti cups. Listening to the river. Now don't get the wrong idea. We didn't have that many of them. We only brought a few with us because we needed more room for the food in the cooler. Yeah, we're luscious. <laughs> Jamie slept good last night, though. Oh, yes, I did. It cooled down. That blow-up mattress is amazing. It did cool down very nice. When you camp, and that's the key. Mm -hmm. Get to cool down, get a little breeze going. Yeah, that fan helped. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Yeah, 